Hey guys, today I'm gonna to share with you three super aesthetic DIY home decor projects with you today. Most of the materials used in these projects were from the Dollar Tree, but don't worry, these projects do not look cheap and anyone can do this. This is super easy. If you're interested in seeing how to do very aesthetic artwork for your home, then just keep watching. So I'm in the wood section and I have an idea. Oh my gosh, my husband's playing with toys over there. I have an idea to just grab a few pieces of this for a canvas art. I started out this project by using an Ikea frame that I had on hand. This is, I believe, an 18 by 30 size frame. And I decided to actually take the matting board, the plastic, and go with the backer board and the frame for this project. To start this project, I picked up the wood planks from the Dollar Tree and I grabbed several different sizes for stacking purposes. I wish I would have grabbed more, but this is what I had on hand. The next thing to do was to lay out my pattern. For some reason, um, I guess it was evening, this is what I started with. <laughs> I already have the spackle on hand, but you can get this at Lowe's, and this is a lightweight version, which is really awesome to work with. To get down the first coat, I just used a paper towel and just, just got it on there. And then this is what it looked like. And to create those marks, I actually took a plastic bag, which is what my supplies came in, and laid it down and pulled it off, and it left all those really cool marks. Now because of all those sort of irregularities around the corner, I decided to paint it all white. And this is what it looked like and I was really, really happy with that. So now it's time to paint the boards and I just used the same gesso with a paintbrush and covered each and every one of them. I think I did two coats and let them dry overnight. So now in the morning, I was looking everything over and decided that I wanted to add some texture. This is a cement glue. I also picked this up at the Dollar Tree um, that I'm using to stack and mount these boards on top of each other. So here I grabbed the, <laughs> the speckle again, decided to do the same texture. So I'm just laying it on and I'm doing the bag trick again. And look at that. I thought this was really, really cool. I loved all the texture on these little boards, and so I was finally happy with that. You gotta make sure you lay this, um, let this dry overnight. And once I glued everything to the pattern of my liking, this was the final result. I was really, really pleasantly surprised. This was a fun project, super easy. I changed my pattern probably four or five times, and this is the final result. This next project is so, so easy. All you need is a glass bowl of your choice and a glue gun and lots and lots of glue. So I started by making little random circles with my glue gun. You have to make sure that they are all connected so that when you pull it off, everything comes off in one piece. Um, you can go back if you'd like um, and do two layers, but I only did one. And here I'm showing you how very easy it is just to lift off once it's cooled down with your hands. And this is what it looked like. And then I took it outside and sprayed some black spray paint. And I think it does look so much like iron or some type of metal work. And it's so lightweight, no one would ever know until they pick it up. Um, so give this a try. So for this next project, I was really pushing the envelope. These are little construction cones from the Dollar Tree in the kids' toy section. All it took was a coat of matte black paint. Let that dry. I did go to the craft store and pick up and picked up a 18 by 30 size canvas and spread um, burnt sienna acrylic paint using my plastic method for some texture, just laying it down, smoothing it out, and then peeling it back so that you can see this awesome texture and that's what I was going for. So now I am kind of dry brushing it. The brush kind of sat out for a little bit and I just went ahead and dusted these 
It was nighttime, so this clip is really grainy. With the same cement glue, I went and glued um, these down. There's the final result. I absolutely love it. I think it is so quirky and different, very mid-century modern abstract. Um, so try this and let me know in the comments what you think.